Here in Arena, we create and render all of our content on Beast Machines built by Asus, Republic of Gamers. If you're keen to play the newest AAA titles or get into content creation, follow out our friends from Asus South Africa and they'll get you in touch with the right people for the right machine. So our friends at Asus South Africa have handed us their brand new iteration in the Republic of Gamers series of mice. This new gear piece is suited to fit every MMO or RPG fanatic's needs, but don't get me wrong. This monster has been suited with a beast laser sensor that would help out anyone who might want to dabble into a little bit of FPS from time to time. I introduce to you the ROG Spartha. The full set comes with a standard manual, a charging station with USB cable for wireless use, a braided USB cable for wired use, a mini screwdriver, spare Omron switches, a sweet ROG certificate, a nifty carry case for the charger and extra bits and pieces, as well as the crucial final piece, a ROG Spartha. The ROG Spartha comes with wireless and wired capabilities and a powerful 8200 DPI laser sensor. It is an exclusively right-handed mouse and features 12 programmable buttons, including six easy to access thumb buttons for MMO and RPG users. The Omron switches come with a customizable click resistance and even though they are fully replaceable, Asus states that the default switcher should keep you gaming comfortably for over 20 million mouse clicks. The receiver and charging station comes with a magnetic plate for easy mouse placement, as well as providing an attractive presentation for your gaming area. The extensive features, including fully customizable RGB lighting over three different zones, may give the impression that the mouse could turn out to be a flimsy chunk of metal, but luckily for us, ROG have made sure the Spartha's features are firmly built around a sturdy magnesium alloy chassis. Inside this beast, we have the previously mentioned 8200 DPI laser sensor, a maximum IPS of 150, 30G acceleration, a liftoff distance of 1 to 5 mm, as well as a 2000Hz polling rate in wired mode and a 1000Hz in wireless mode. Even though the Spartha is primarily designed for MMO and RPG use, the two-step clutch quality sensor and comfortable design make it an agreeable choice for other genres including RTS and MOBA. It may struggle in an FPS environment due to its sheer size and weight sitting at a massive 150 grams plus, but for the user with larger hands who might be utilizing a claw type grip, might have just found the perfect gear for them. When utilizing the mouse playing games such as Counter-Strike GO or Overwatch, I never had noticeable issues with over or under aiming when performing um, fast paced flick type shots. To counteract the large size, Republic of Gamers have actually designed the Whetstone mouse pad with a matching Mayan design. The design may seem gimmicky at first, but uh, it actually serves a key purpose by providing an extremely smooth gliding sensation when moving the mouse across the pad. Personally, I feel Republic of Gamers has been very successful in creating a fully working pairing between this pad and the ROG Spartha. For the users looking for a truly FPS alternative in the Republic of Gamers range, um, check out the ROG Gladius. Uh, that mouse is suited perfectly for any FPS player with the ultimate sort of optical mouse that uh, all FPS players have become quite accustomed to. With the uh, built-in flash memory, the Spartha is capable of storing five different profiles for use on the fly, particularly great for when not using your own PC which leads us conveniently to the ROG Armory software. The available setting tabs within the Armory allow you to assign different mouse, keyboard and Windows functions to all 12 buttons. You can configure your DPI and polling rate, set up 10 different levels of angle snapping, change up your mouse acceleration as well as the button response. The Spartha also features RGB lighting across three different zones, which are fully customizable within the Armory. You can cycle through different options including static, breathing, or specific trigger lighting. If you're not intending on using official ASUS mouse pads, the Omri will also allow you to calibrate to a variety of different pads. One can also keep up to date with current power levels of utilizing the mouse in wireless mode and set up incredibly useful macros for games such as World of Warcraft. Each profile can be selected using hotkeys on the mouse itself. The Omri also ensures that the latest firmware is always installed as well as providing access to all of ROG's social media pages in case you have any prudent questions. With a suggested price range of 2,800 Rand, the Spartha comes in close in comparison with other wired slash you know, wired gaming mouse on the local market, while adding key exclusive features such as interchangeable switches, built-in flash memory, and the sturdy magnesium alloy chassis. 
Considering the features and intended use for the Sparta, as well as the current exchange rates, we wouldn't consider the suggested price at all far-fetched. As a more competitive FPS player myself, this might not be the go-to mouse for me in, in terms of what I intend to play, although the Sparta may be the perfect choice for those looking for a fresh new outlook on a wired or wireless gaming mouse. Thank you for tuning in to another review here at Arena TV. I'm Robo Herbo. If you enjoyed the review, drop us a subscribe and uh, let us know in the comments if you'd like any um, specific products uh, for us to check out and we'll make sure to get it on here and test them to the absolute limit. Cheers, guys.